Welcome to the Word of Encouragement channel. Let us pray against cancer today. First, we're going to recognize God for who he is. We're going to repent. We are going to renounce and we're going to resist. We're going to confess our faith in Christ and then we're going to pray a deliverance and healing prayer. Okay? Lord God, we recognize who you are. You're the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the sacrifice that takes away our diseases, the sacrifice who gives complete deliverance from evil, the one who died, was buried, and rose on the third day, the one who lives. You live. You live. Lord, we repent. We repent of all of our sins. We ask that you wash us clean by your precious blood that was shed on the cross. Wash unforgiveness from our hearts. Wash our hearts clean of anything that is not of you. We renounce any and all activities that we have engaged in that is not of you. Things like slander and gossip, things like jealousy and envy, things like comparison, bitterness, selfishness, and pride. We renounce involvement in any satanic activity, knowingly and unknowingly. Things like going to psychics and tarot card readings to know the truth when you are the truth. Nothing else comes next to your truth that is in your word. We renounce putting out faith in crystals and sage the evil eye and other objects for protection and safety when your word in Isaiah 41 and 3 says, for I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. We renounce having the wrong motive behind our endeavors. We renounce being a part of any organization that we idolize or place before you. We renounce every idle word that has come out of our mouth. We put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil according to Ephesians 6 and 11. We confess, Lord, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, the resurrection and the life. We commit to obey your word to the best of our ability, and when we fall short, we commit to calling on the Holy Spirit to help us and deliver us. Now confess any known sins of yourself and your ancestors. Confess any sins on behalf of your family and forgive any person that you need to forgive. Lord, we renounce all contact with the occult, including being a part of secret societies and keeping contact objects like images and charms and books that are anti the kingdom of God and tarot cards. Lord God, we bow at your feet and surrender any cancer in our body, any gene mutation in our body that turned our healthy cells into cancer cells. We surrender any habits that have caused this cancer, such as smoking, alcohol, and not protecting ourselves from UV rays. We stand on the following verses and receive our healing from cancer. You stated in John 16, in the world you will have tribulation like the diagnosis of cancer, but your word says, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You have overcome cancer when they nailed you to that tree. You have overcome the spirit of infirmity. You've granted us deliverance from demonic forces that may be tormenting us with the spirit of fear because of this cancer diagnosis. However, you said in Isaiah 41 and 10, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, we hold on to your word. We will walk with you through this journey called life. We will keep our eye on you and dote on you and minister unto you. For in your presence, we are healed. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, it says we will not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, we present our request to you. And your peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. We believe King David's testimony when he escaped the Philistines, when he said in Psalms 34, I sought the Lord. And he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. His testimony builds us up because we are serving the same and mighty, awesome God as King David. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that we can call on you. Thank you, Jesus. We taste and see that you are so good. You're the same God that helped deliver David and you will deliver us. We thank the words of David. We thank those words that are giving us encouragement that you showed up for him. You will show up for us in the mighty name of Jesus. According to Romans 8 and 28, we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. Lord, please use me for good. At the end of this journey, please use me for good. For in Joshua 1 and 9, you said, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We come against any cell in our body that is dividing out of control. We come against any cell that has not matured to do its normal specific job. We come against any cell that has found its way around our immune system. We come against any cell that ignores the signal to stop dividing or to die when they should. We come against abnormalities, abnormal cells that are spreading to other parts of the body through the blood or lymphatic system. We come against any cell trying to grow into and damage tissues and organs. Every abnormal cell must go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bind every spirit of infirmity now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every spirit of infirmity to leave the body now. I command every spirit of infirmity to leave your body now. I command the spirit of infirmity to leave your body now. Now, get up and out of their bodies. Get up and out of their bodies. Get up and out of their bodies. I command every spirit of infirmity, out you must go. Out you must go. Out you must go. Out of the body you must go in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says that once you are delivered, your spiritual house is clean. The spirit of infirmity will try to come back stronger with other legions, other demons. So you have to get into your word once you're delivered. You must become a follower of Jesus Christ. If you believe that Jesus Christ just healed you and delivered you, you have to be a follower, not just a believer, but a follower. Many of us Christians believe, but we do not follow his ways. We do not try to become more like Christ daily. We have to spend time with him daily. Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your deliverance. And according to Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.